I'm back in the fish room and it is dark and this power outage is the first time it's ever happened and all of the fish tanks are out of power and I made the biggest mistake because I don't have a backup generator or a backup battery backup to get the tanks running and I'm a little nervous because I have no power. So what that means is, well first is, this is Ron Johnson, a fish enthusiast, mental health coach and soon to be a therapist and walks in my videos where I talk about mental health, I talk about fish keeping because I love my hobbies. So it's dark, you probably can only see my teeth. So if you go here, look down this tank, it's really, really looking a little dark. There's Big Dan, there's Ollie there. Got the booty somewhere in the tank. I can't see exactly where he is because he's a little darker, but he is somewhere in the tank. And if you go right here, you see a couple different fish. Well, you can't see something. He's looking brightened up a little bit. Uh, not too good with that. So there's blackout. You walk over here. Elise, Annabelle, the Arwana swimming around. You got the shovel nose in the bottom there. You got Havoc swimming around. And you got, you see the Oscar in the back, barely see him. I'm more importantly worried about the Stingray tank because they're definitely to breathe. There's, you can barely see him, but you see there's Curious George here, Jack, the Peacock Bass. There's Diamond in front, there's my finger pointing him, his lip there, and there's one in the back. So I definitely need to find a way to, to get the power back on. I checked with the power company, it said by 440. Power's been out since 320, and I'm seeing what's going to happen. You can see there's an echo in here. It's the first time being in a fish room where it's actually this quiet. Hopefully, power's back on. It's a blackout. I'm going to learn from this. And actually, what I was trying to do is, is wait till Black Friday turns around. You know, Black Friday's coming here in about a month. I was going to buy a battery backup, get the fish room set up because blackouts do happen in the fish room. And when you live in a PNW, Pacific Northwest, blackouts do happen. It's just the way it is. And you got to be ready for those. So, Stay tuned. I'm going to keep checking on the fishy friends and make sure they're okay because they definitely need some air and no pumps are running because there's no light. So black it out. Okay, so what I mean by take a look means right now behind me, you can see right there is a battery pack, small sizes, big capacity. So it's a 300 watt battery backup for my fish room. So let's take a look see what's going on here. So the battery backup is by Jackery. So let's make sure I get a glare there. You can see there's two AC outlets, 300 watts. It's perfect power for your uh, fish tanks. You can see there's also another AC adapter here. It has two built-in USBs. It also has a, um, a USB Type-C there. Um, also, in addition to that, it only plugs through a two prong. So you can see here, we take it out. Uh. A two prong adapter, so it pretty much can be plugged in anywhere you need it. So, a Jackery battery backup to help save, as you know, save the fish room. So, I'm prepared. More blackouts coming here. And always, guys, thanks for listening. Thanks for hearing my videos because hobbyists like myself love our fish, but also hobbyists like myself, I also love mental health and fish keeping. So, one thing I want to talk about today is your mental health and how important it is. But understanding one important thing, understand our beliefs, understand our values, understand where we come from, and understand our personal lens, who we are as a person, will develop where we want to be. So you need to understand where you are, your beliefs, your values, your culture, to change where you want to be. But also defining what that looks like. Get a role model, read a book, find out what that looks like so you can be better and always Ron Johnson, fish enthusiast, mental health coach, and should be a therapist, and thanks for listening.